Hey guys, this is Ebony. Welcome back to my channel. I first wanted to mention that I did change my YouTube channel name to Ebony Deborah. I did that so that it would be consistent across all social media platforms. So if you check me out on other platforms, you just need to look for Ebony Deborah, which is just my name. All right, so now let's jump into the video. So this video is going to be my skincare routine and it's not like an updated skincare routine because I don't think I've ever shared one on YouTube. It's just my current skincare routine and I think the reason I've never shared one is because I never really had one and I know that's terrible but um, I never really took care of my skin in the past I, I did have problematic skin but I don't know I just never really thought to create a skincare routine and stick with it but I have one now that I've been using probably eight months or so that I really love and that's really been working well for me so um, my skin, just to give you a little background, I had issues with acne, I had hyperpigmentation, which are little dark spots all over my face, and that probably was a lot of acne scarring. Um, I had uneven tones, so I had some areas that were, were lighter, some areas that were darker, but not like a consistent tone. And then um, I also have oily skin, and um, I didn't really have any wrinkles or anything like that. I am 35, I'll be 36 this year, so I'm not super young, but I haven't really gotten any type of wrinkles or anything like that yet. So the issues that I mentioned were my main concern. I'm going to insert a picture maybe on this side um, to kind of show you what my skin looks like without makeup since I'm wearing makeup today. You can't really get a feel for what my skin looks like. but you probably know your makeup looks 10 times better if your skin underneath is taken care of and hydrated and properly um properly properly um taken care of so i have two routines i have a morning routine and a night routine and the reason why i have two different ones is because in the morning i use products that have um, glycolic acid and at night I use products that have salicylic acid and I didn't want to use glycolic acid and salicylic acid at the same time so um, I just split them up into two routines glycolic acid and salicylic acid have similar um, they do similar things so they assist with cell turnover and they help with exfoliation of the skin um, you don't have to use both one is actually water soluble and one is oil soluble so depending on if you have oily skin or or not you might want to choose one over the other I don't remember which is which but I'll put it on the screen I use both and my skin actually loves it I've never had a problem with using both I just don't use it at the same time and I don't know if that's possible it might be possible I just don't know I never tried it okay so in the morning I use two pixie products and Actually, my whole skincare routine is just two brands, Pixie and Eva Naturals. So I use this Pixie Glow Mud Cleanser, which has 5% glycolic acid with aloe vera. And then I use the Glow Tonic as a toner right after I use this. So this, um, this cleanser actually has a thick, creamy consistency. It doesn't bubble and lather. Um, it's not one of those type of cleansers. It has a thick, creamy consistency. And I absolutely love it. It feels amazing on the face. And it doesn't dry my skin out. And then after that, I use this Glow Tonic. This Glow Tonic is amazing. If you've never tried it, it is amazing at brightening up your, your skin and giving you this beautiful glow. It says on the back, gently exfoliates and brightens, revealing healthy glowing skin for all skin types, alcohol free, dermatologist tested, use AM and PM or as needed. After cleansing, apply with a cotton pad, pad avoiding eye area. So that's exactly what I do. I just take a cotton pad, I put it all over my face, I put it on my neck area and my decollete. And normally the cotton pad will have just small traces of, of anything that may have been missed when I actually wash my face in the shower so I really like using a toner afterward and then the toner also helps to balance your pH and just gives your your face this really um, fresh hydrated feeling so after I use those two products in the morning I use the even naturals collagen stimulating skin repairing peptide complex serum it says that it smooths fine lines and wrinkles it has hyaluronic acid it has amino acids and it has vitamin e so this is a serum with a pump 
I usually use about two pots. It's not super watery, but as you see, it, it does run a little bit. It's clear. Um, it absorbs very easily into the skin. And it is just a really, really awesome serum. Um, so like I mentioned my age earlier, I'm 35. So at this point in time, I want to do a lot of preventative care of my skin. And because this helps to smooth fine lines and wrinkles, before I even get them to a point where they're noticeable, I want to kind of use products that work against them. So that's what that's for. Now, um, I do have an eye gel that I use a lot of times in the morning. I mainly use it at night. Sometimes I don't use it in the morning if I'm going to be rushing to put on eye makeup because I don't want my eyeshadow to have to, you know, compete with the, the moistness of the eye gel. So I use it at night for sure, sometimes in the morning, and it's the Even Naturals Youth Restoring Eye Gel. It also has a pump like this, and this is it's kind of thick, and I, I normally use a half a pump for both eyes. I dab it underneath my eye area, and then all around my, my orbital bone, and it has a very cooling sensation. Kind of like products that have cucumber in it. It might have cucumber extract or something. But it has a very cooling sens sensation. Yeah, it does say cucumber hydrosol. Yep. So all of th these serums that I'm showing you are natural. They're located on Amazon and they're very inexpensive. They're all in under $20. I think most of them are like $14.99 and they're really awesome if you have any questions about them you can go on amazon and google and search for it and read the reviews and read um the description and what it's supposed to do and you'll you'll be blown away at the reviews um because a lot of people really like these products so i tried them because of the reviews and i really like them too all right so that's my morning routine now at night i also use pixie products but i use um oh i forgot to show you i forgot to show you the um moisturizer that I use. So I use this morning and night and this is the Pixie Rose Ceramide Cream. This moisturizer is really amazing. I love it. Um, I love it. It is so moisturizing. It just gives you, it's just the, the most perfect moisture because some moisturizers that I've tried, they, I feel like it sits on top of my skin and it doesn't absorb. Some feel greasy, some feel watery. A weird watery feeling this this has the best consistency of anything that I've tried it smells great it smells like rose and it always leaves my skin feeling so hydrated and I love it and it's only $18 the last moisturizer that I was using was like $48 I can't remember the name I'll put it on the screen it was a great moisturizer but it was just too expensive so this is a really great cheaper alternative if you want to keep your skincare products um, in a reasonable range um, these are all less than $20 okay so at night I use other products from their rose line I use the pixie cream cleanser and I use the rose tonic which I'm out of and I use these two at night because I use a serum that has salicylic acid and these don't have glycolic acid in it like the ones that I use in the morning. They have glycolic acid in it. These do not. So these are really great moisturizing skincare products. This um, cleanser leaves my skin feeling so hydrated even though I've washed it. Some cleansers will leave your skin feeling dry and tight and just uncomfortable but this my skin feels just so uh, moisturize and it's just a really good um, feeling after I use this and this when I follow up with it it's just a refreshing feeling it balances the pH in my skin and it um, leaves my skin also feeling really moisturized and hydrated so then after I use those products I follow follow up with the even naturals skin clearing vitamin C serum so if I had to pick one product that I would recommend the most out of everything that I'm mentioning it would be this product this product is a game changer for my skin so it has 20% vitamin C it has 2% salicylic acid 5% hyaluronic acid 3.5% niacinamide 2% retinol and 10% MSM so it has a lot of wonderful ingredients so it comes with a dropper like this I normally use about a half a dropper. I put it all over my skin and my neck and my decollete. I avoid the eye area. Um, 
and I sleep you know I sleep in that and it just does so many great things for my skin I follow up with the, the eye gel and then I also use this moisturizer at night and that pretty much is it for my skincare routine you may be wondering about exfoliation and SPF so I don't need those harsh exfoliators with the little beads or, or little coffee or sugar or whatever I don't need it because the salicylic acid and the glycolic acid that I use, it just causes my cell, cell turnover to be so high that I don't have buildup. Every now and then I might use um, an exfoliating mask or something like that because I do do masks twice a week. I try to do a mask either Wednesday or Thursday and Sunday. And a lot of times I'll just use, um, I don't have a favorite one so I didn't show you in this video. But I use a lot of different type of masks. So I try to do a mask twice a week. But I don't have to use a, another exfoliator because I, I don't have a problem with my skin needing exfoliation with these products. And then SPF, I try to get my SPF using either um, a primer or my foundation. I don't, I don't have SPF in my products, but I normally have it in the primer that I use or my makeup foundation. And if I go out that day without wearing any makeup, then um, maybe I'll try to just put a little bit of primer on or an external SPF product to protect my skin, but it's not in my skincare products. All right, so that concludes my skincare routine. Please let me know in the comments if you have a skincare product that you absolutely love that works amazing for you that I need to know about. Let me know in the comments because um, I really love all of these products that I showed you guys, but I'm not 100% committed to anything. Maybe except that the vitamin C serum, but you know, I'm willing to try new stuff. So let me know in the comments um, if you have anything that you adore. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's Ebony Deborah there. And also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.